welcome to Alex518. So today we are going to bring you the chiller controller repair. This is another sharing for unit failure troubleshooting method. Alright, for the unit background, the unit is used to control thermoelectric chillers. Unit failed TE power P bus CRC error on initialization. Unit composed of main board and temperature controller module. It has a complex assembly and disassembly procedure. This is one of the complex repair that we have been encountered. Let's go troubleshoot the unit. Let's move to the next page. Thank you. The purpose of this video is to share the method of repairing the parts failure. There is no intention to advertise brands, disclose private properties, or promote any services. Just enjoy watching the video until the end. You might learn something new. Thank you. In this step, we're going to do the visual inspection and ohm checking. We're going to look for any physical defects and low resistance components. For the remarks, we remove the covers and disassemble the main board. We check all parts and any physical defects like burn marks heat marks, or any blown components. We also perform the ohm checking to mainboard components. But in the end, visual inspection and ohm checking have no significant findings. Thank you. Let's move to the next step. In this step, we power up the unit to perform voltage checking. But before that, we want to see the response during we power up the unit. Please watch the video. To confirm the unit failed TE power P bus CRC error. We also sketch the wiring diagram to guide on voltage checking. Compare the voltage readings from known good controller unit. But all readings were closely identical. In the end, there is no significant findings on voltage checking step. Let's move to the next step. Thank you. In this step, we sketch the schematic diagram with more details for further troubleshooting. We move the temperature controller module to sketch the schematic diagram. This will give additional insight to further troubleshoot the failing chiller controller unit and also the temperature controller module was an installed and tested pass into the second unit so it is confirmed that the temperature controller module is working fine and the problem can be from main board of this chiller controller unit Thank you. Let's move to the next step. For further troubleshooting, I would like to recreate the failure. To understand further the failure, I have to recreate the failure. This is another method in my troubleshooting list. From this circuit diagram, I used the good unit and have lifted multiple pins to see if I can duplicate the bad unit failure. 
when lifted U10 pin 1, the failure had been duplicated. Good job! Then I have to focus the troubleshooting in this area. Thank you. Let's move to the next page. This step, I did a components level troubleshooting down to IC pin to pin level. I compared all pins ohm readings between good and bad unit. So I compare U4, U10, U13, U14, but all pins have no significant differences. The last option is to do a proactive repair. I started replaced U4. Same failure. Then I replaced U10, but also got the same failure. Then lastly, I replaced U13 and the unit pass. So confirm that U13 was causing the failure. Great findings, thank you. This step, I am going to show you the power up test after replacing U13. Recreating the failure lead us to the right area to focus our troubleshooting. Unit pass after replace U13. Even can start controlling the chiller with no other issues. See the test result below. Thank you for watching. As you can see, the unit passed after U13 replaced. Let's move to the next page. Thank you. This step, I am going to show you the summary report, the failure and fix, and also the lessons learned. Failure. Unit failed. TE power P pass. CRC error. Root cost. CPLD U13 functional fail. Lessons. Recreating the failure using good unit helped us discover faster the circuit area where the bad component is located. Remarks. Unit pass all tests and delivered to end user. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something new. Thank you. I still have a lot of success repair stories to share. So don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you and thanks again. Goodbye.